Hey everyone, this is Rachel and welcome to another scrapbooking process video. If you hang out until after the video is through, there are always detailed shots of my current layout. Let's get going! Hey everyone, just a reminder, you can still join me for my lives in July. My next one is going to be Tuesday, July 16th at 5.45 Eastern Standard Time. I usually scrapbook a page and then do a couple other things that are just, you know, a little bit fun, but not so long. Let's get on to the video. All right, here I am showing you that I did complete this page and this was from, um, I did this at another live I actually did and I wanted to tell another story. So I've mentioned before, I do either single pages, double pages, or what I call two single pages that are companion pieces. So the ones that are companion pieces, I usually use um, similar items either from the same line or from the same kit, um, but I want to tell two different stories. So in this case, I did want to tell two different stories. So I'm using the same kit. This is a stash kit I made based on the May 2019 hip kit. So what I'm doing is I have a Fisker's punch in a hexagon shape, and I'm taking a bunch of the scraps I have in this kit and punching out hexagon shapes. I know you're shocked at that. So I'm choosing different ones in different colors, and then a couple that are multiple colors, because I like to, that mix of either a tone-on-tone -tone pattern paper mixed up with papers that have multiple colors on them. And, you know, that way it gives a great color scheme. So I have these three photos, and they are of my nephew playing in the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids playground area in at, the, at what the time was called MGM Studios. I don't even know if this is still in, uh, what is it called now, Disney Studios? Um, but he adored this. In fact, he like when we when he was asking, he's like, can we go back to the giant leaf area, leaf area? And that's what, um, or Dog Snot Park is what he was calling it. And um, so we're like, no, baby. <laughs> We have other parks to go to. <laughs> that was this is our first day. And um anyway, so <laughs> Um, so what I'm doing here, and I'm pretty sure this was for a challenge about using repeating shapes. So what I'm going to do to reinforce the repeating shapes is use some mixed media behind it. I've got Rip Van Periwinkle, Tuscan Sun, and uh, Sunset Strip. I can't, I, I know I closed, I know I did a screenshot of it, but I didn't read it while I was doing it. This is either Sunset Strip or Caribbean Sunset. I can never tell the difference between the two of them, to tell you the truth. Um, and I'm just doing the packaging technique onto some marshmallow uh, cardstock. I'm not using a lot of liquid. I'm spritzing it on the paper, and then I am just... Um, adding a tiny bit of water. Now, yellow and blue are opposite on the color wheel. So what I did is I made sure the yellow was completely dry and what I'm, and then I'm going to sop it up because I don't want brown, obviously. Um, so, but what I, because I'm doing the packaging technique and the majority of that is going to be covered up by photos, what I was really looking for was just those, like the edges. So I don't mind that got a little muddy underneath where my photos are going to go. I'm really just looking for those edges for that blue. And um, obviously there's more yellow than blue. So you see, once I put the photos there, no more mud. Yay to no more mud. <laughs> so now I've got it and you see how super, super shiny that is. And that's what I was really looking for was the shine. I'm going to go ahead and get my photos back down and then get my little hexagon pieces all lined up. I have to say this uh, ended up being one of my most favorite layouts I've done recently. I mean, I, I normally like all of my, well, I normally like the majority of my layouts and I'm just kind of like, well, it's done with a couple of my layouts. <laughs> But this one, I really, really liked the way it turned out. I liked the colors. I liked how I liked the mix of some mixed media with the graphic shapes of the hexagons. Um, so I just I just really liked it. <laughs> so now I'm taking my art glitter clear glue and I'm adding that underneath all of the hexagons, just basically keeping them exactly where they are. And I find, especially on mixed media, even if you're not going to use gesso, if you're going to use gesso, you have to use liquid glue. You can't use ATG. It just, it will not stick. But because I did 
quite a bit of the color. I did want to go ahead and use the glue. Also with shapes like these, it's easier just use, for me, it's easier just to use the liquid glue than to get out a tape runner or use my ATG. And for those of you who are missing the fact that Xanthi hasn't been in any of my videos lately, I will tell you she is sitting in my lap because if I am talking to the air, obviously I am talking to her. So she crawled up in my lap as I started this voiceover. Okay, I probably should have cut ahead for me gluing all these hexagons on, but I didn't, and I only edit once. Um, <laughs> so instead, it's just me rambling on and on. So as I am voiceovering this, I'm actually, it is the day it's going to go up, Saturday the 13th, um, because I've just been very, very busy. Uh, so we are halfway through the year that is like so over halfway through the year which is so crazy to think about you know now it's like i'm making fall plans and you know i'm going on a uh, scrapbooking retreat in the fall so i'm starting to make plans for that and as you can see right now on the actual layout i am taking all of the misting and i am just uh, all of the colors that i use to mist and i am just sprinkling that over so anyway, as I was saying, I was just, you know, it's crazy that I'm making plans for fall. I'm going to a wedding uh, of one of my family members out of state. Oh, I got a little misty on the, um, a little misting on the paper. So I was kind of annoyed with myself. All right, let's actually talk about the layout. I am matting that one photo of my nephew kind of hiding within the brand, the, the fake giant branches. And I'm using the multicolor one for that. And then I'm going to double mat it using this really mustardy yellow with the plus signs on it. I was actually kind of sad that I didn't get to use this bat piece as a background, but it just didn't work out. It doesn't always work out that you get to, you know, not, uh, you see a page and you're like, oh, that would be make a great background paper. It doesn't always work out that you get to use it, but the fact of the matter is there's so much paper out there and so many different layouts you can make, so it's totally okay. All right, so I've got my photos going down. And I really love, like I said, I really think this is just an awesome layout that I did. I mean, not to, not to toot my own horn or anything. It's just, I really like it. You know, there are other people's layouts I really like as well, but this one happens to be mine. All right. So now that I've got that going, I am going to start embellishing. I've got a whole bunch of Maggie Holmes in this particular kit, simply because I thought it went really well. I have that pink and white striped tag. And I was like, oh, I think I should be tucking these items. Um, but oh, it was upside down. I'm like, why didn't I like that? Oh, I don't know why. I just, I felt the need to do it the other direction. So then I tuck another tag under the right-hand side photo, and now I'm just kind of poking through, seeing what else might work. I didn't want anything super florally, but then I found that bird, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's perfect, because it's a really large bird, and I'm talking about an area where, um, if you ever saw them, I remember from the movie, like when I was a kid, um, there was in one of the scenes a giant bird that's like pecking for worms and the children are out in the grass so i always thought i'm like oh my gosh that would be totally perfect for this story yay i then pull out these horizon stickers which i had added to the kit and i'm adding a bunch of um word stickers and now i'm going to these are they're puffy stickers, but they're like shiny puffy stickers. So they're almost like a blend between a puffy sticker and an epoxy sticker, but they're not hard. So they're not hard like epoxy, but they're shiny like epoxy. And these are old. These are from uh, Maggie Holmes Bloom. And then I also have some chipboard stickers and these are older as well. They may be from Bloom or they may be from Chasing Dreams. I don't remember and I somehow lost the packaging for them. I don't know how I did that because I'm, you know, amazing like that. That's how I did that. All right. <laughs> and I'm adding a couple of those as well. I loved that um, open heart over the hexagon. I thought that went really well. 
And now I've got these puffy stickers and these are from Pink Fresh Studio, Let Your Heart Decide. And I'm just adding a couple of those throughout. And now I'm going to work on my title. I have these super shiny gold foil um, chipboard stickers and those are actually from a hip kit grab bag that I had purchased. And I'm just going to be using the word explore as my title because that's what he was doing. I'm going to go ahead, write my journaling and I am almost finished with this layout. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. I really should have edited this a lot better, so I do apologize for that. If you could, however, still flick me a thumbs up, I would be super duper grateful. And I hope you will join me on Tuesday for my live video. As I said, I've got one on the 16th, and then I'll have another one the following Tuesday. Thank you guys so, so much. I do have one more thing I'm going to do, and that is I'm going to add some mist in, oh sugar, I think that's Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine. That's usually what I use as a finishing mist. All right, folks, one more thing. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot that I added enamel dots. I know y'all are shocked because I never add enamel dots. All right, ladies, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you once again for joining me. I hope your summer is going awesome, and bye!